Welcome back to FemFlex Friday, and today's episode is all about you, actually. You. We appreciate you guys watching our episodes, and believe it or not, we go through all of our episodes, we read your comments, we get your questions, and today's episode is answering <laughs> your questions that you have sent to us or asked in previous episodes. So I'm here with the one and only Whitney Jones, <laughs> Linda Murray, and Wendy Fortino. Hello, and we're going to dive into your questions that you have asked us throughout our episodes. So <clears throat> kicking it off, uh, here's one that came in from Kayla. I wish we would have. Uh, oh, I wish you had. Men I wish you would have mentioned tummy tucks and scars mm. that go with it, with a, a go along with stretch marks. How does the, how does that affect judging? Okay, I just kind of completely botched that. Yeah, question. no, <laughs> no I think we it. know what they were asking yeah. though. Stars, well, as a yeah. judge, what do you what do you feel yeah. about what that? Do you, yeah, honestly, for stretch marks, like especially in the NPC, like yeah. that does not mm -hmm. even come into play. Like yeah. as mm -hmm. long as we can see the conditioning and the tone and yeah. the and the, mm -hmm. the criteria is still there, yeah. that's something that they can't fix. Yeah. We know that it's they've had babies or you know have gone through something. Yeah where they've mm -hmm. had that or a lot of people have gone through a severe weight loss right yeah and you can't fix that and mm -hmm. so it's kind of like it's your it's your battle wounds mm -hmm. I have well, a yeah, yeah. question to that really fast and when a lot of times people they worry about that so they get suits that cover oh, it. yeah yeah, what are your yeah. On that? Mm. well I think I've seen people with like maybe a big c-section scar and yeah. they'll have mm -hmm. a suit that goes a little bit higher but I, don't, I really don't feel like, it, especially in the NPC, it has any yeah. impact on your score. Mm -hmm. However, yeah. when you start to get higher up, if you're like at the, on the Olympia stage and you yeah. have a lot of, uh, you know, scars mm -hmm. or stretch marks, uh, skin tone can play yeah. an impact mm -hmm. in your scoring, mm -hmm. and so that would, you know, be the only time I would think it would impact. I'll say I had for one of my boys, I had a C-section, and it's funny because I'll have so many clients say, "Well, you've never had a C-section." I'm like, "No, I did." <laughs> um, the biggest yeah. thing is. I have tons of clients who have C-section yeah, scars. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's more of a mental thing. Yeah. And if you can tone mm -hmm. your stomach, if you can diet properly, yeah. mm -hmm. you drop that weight. Whether it's a scar or not, it can almost look like a line from a tan. Right. You know, and yeah. so you really have to stop thinking about it. Mm -hmm. I also, um, when I started training glutes, yeah. I used to have a tiny, tiny booty and I'm glad my, my <laughs> yeah. glutes have developed, but yeah. I got stretch marks, uh -huh. not yeah. from pregnancy, but from mm -hmm. training. Mm -hmm. But again, you, the tan covers that and you have to put it out of your brain mm -hmm. because your confidence in it is going to be what gives anything away. Mm -hmm. So we all have scars, we all have yes. scars. and we all have we all flaws. Do. But try not to focus on it, and it will help the judges not focus. I on will it. say, if if you do have a lot of stretch marks and it bothers you and you feel self conscious about it, I have had clients in the past who had a lot of stretch marks from having children, and they went through some laser surgeries, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that actually mm -hmm. really helped fade yeah. them to the point where it was it was like the before and after yeah. was yeah. remarkable. So mm -hmm. that's something that you're that's really good. self conscious about because yeah. confidence on stage is everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there are ways that you can correct that and help fade it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice, I like it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why don't you take this next one? All right. So, <laughs> lady, yeah, take how, this one. <laughs> how do you ladies manage so much in your busy lives? This was a question mm -hmm. by Carol P. Um, there's no balance. Let's be honest. There's no <laughs> such thing. You've got to accept balance, it. But there really isn't. <laughs> but I think if you enjoy what you do, and I've said this on so many yeah. podcasts, yeah. I love what I do. I feel yeah. very mm -hmm. fortunate that I get to, you know, do so many different things in my life. I love being a mom first and foremost, mm -hmm. um, being in the industry of fitness, competing, being on the show, Sometimes running Friday businesses. Yeah, the favorite, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, but it is. Mm -hmm. So when you love it, it's easier to prioritize it. Yeah. If you're struggling and you got to cut stuff, mm -hmm. I mean, we've all kind of had that where we have to cut things yeah. in our life. Mm -hmm. Then you yeah. cut the things that are bringing you the most stress that yeah. you're not maybe enjoying as much. Yeah. And yeah. you'll find that all of a sudden you do have some free time and you're probably yeah. going to fill yeah. it anyways. Yeah. None of us do guys. that. Yeah. You have children. You have yeah. two sons. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You have that a daughter. Yeah. yeah. Well, and like that, that's a, impressive to me. Yeah. Like, because I don't have that in my life. I'm very busy. But you're busy. I have, but you're busy. busy. I have two yeah. cats. They that's, do wear those me are your out. children. Yeah. Those my cats your, wear me out. That's your children. But, <laughs> the, but that's a very common question that a new athlete will ask. Yes. And honestly, when I was starting off in the NPC and even in my early careers as a in, a, in the pro league, I really struggle with balance and I really mm -hmm. think it takes seasoning to really understand yeah. balance and mm -hmm. to like juggle everything and sure. taking off those horse blinders yeah. which yeah. a lot of yeah. times newer yeah. athletes will mm -hmm. will have mm -hmm. yeah and also I feel like and this is I feel like a common thread with people who are successful in life is and this is this is in common with everybody I think when you have a lot going on you tend to be more structured yeah you tend to mm. prioritize things so I think actually the secret to mm -hmm. getting through having a lot is having a lot of stuff to do there so when you, you have the more things that you have on your plate the the better time management skills you tend to adopt and when you don't have that that much going on I, I feel like it it caters to like our lazier sides mm -hmm. we start to feel like we can't take on a lot mm -hmm. yeah so when you take on a lot of stuff I don't know. This is just my opinion. So maybe like people would totally. I agree. But I feel like you you do tend to mm -hmm. be. I'm better with time management when I when yeah. I put a lot on my plate. Totally. Me yeah. Too. I was super organized. I hate sitting around doing nothing. Competition. Yeah. Super organized. Yeah. Just got so much done. You, you had, had to. to. Yeah. Absolutely yes. agree with that. Mm hmm. All right. Let's see, Linda. You want the next one? Let's see. Oh, I uh. love your show. Where do you ladies do your shopping for? Oh, mm, great okay. question. All righty. Yeah, because trust me, <laughs> <laughs> we have to definitely, we, we're conscious of like not wearing the same thing. So we yeah. do have to shop. And yeah. um, I love shopping now. I have to find <laughs> Yes. Right? So, no, I love she shopping does. at She's Nordstrom's Rack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's a it's good one. It's one of yeah. my favorite places. I love that place, yeah. Yeah, yeah but it, it takes some work because they don't, you don't go in in all the sizes. They don't have, like, yeah. it's like going to six or seven. for women yeah. mm -hmm. clothes. So you have to have the time yeah. to do that. But now I've, like, moved on from, I still do Nordstrom's Rack. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> but I go to stores like, I love um, Dillard's and Macy's. Uh-huh. And I watch a lot of YouTube influencers on style. Ooh, Look at you. There you go. Yes, yeah. Did. This has been your it's thing. It's so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Because there are a lot of things that, like, I just... I didn't do like I yeah. would not buy. Where did you get this person? little number? This blue dress right let's here. See, I got this from the Nordstrom's rack. That yeah. was or it was very okay, expensive. Okay, let's, 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 let's tell tell like where our outfits are from. Okay, okay uh, <laughs> shoes are from Guess. Oh wait. Uh huh. Oh nice. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I don't know. If I like those these pants. These pants I think are Fashion Nova. This top is Billabong, mm -hmm. and this bracelet I have no idea. It was in my collection mm -hmm. of bracelets, and I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, you had to tell your story about your dress. Okay, this is oh God, that yeah. was so archaic. Wild. She robbed a pirate. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Arr. Arr. This is from like co like over twenty years college. <laughs> I think it's from Wet Seal. I don't even know if that's around. It's so the same. Wet Seal. Or, but, oh, I love Wet Seal. I know. But you're saying that you wore this 20 years ago. Yes. Yeah. Don't yeah. Teach her. Don't yeah. Teach her. And it still for all her. At least 20. High school. Okay. It's great. Yes. great Maturity quality. level. I stayed there, so I'm mm -hmm. bringing back the great clothes. Quality. You're bringing it back, honey. You are bringing <laughs> it back. Yeah. What about you? Where'd right. you get your outfit? Nordstrom for the heels. Brandy Melville for the pants. Target for the top and. Necklace, I don't know. But yeah. I think to build a good wardrobe, it's good to have some really nice pieces. Yes. And then some, some like maybe yeah. some cheaper staples to have yeah. like that you can kind of mix and play around mm -hmm. with it. I'm I agree. I'm learning that. I yeah. have to give it's a shout out too because you guys have asked. I have talking about balance. So I have a friend who does personal shopping and does bargain personal yeah. shopping. Wow. So it's not like this bougie mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. on Instagram. It's not my first rodeo. Okay. Shout and out, she shout will out. literally yeah. she'll size up kind of what you like. Like, send you stuff, try it on, mm -hmm. otherwise you send it back. It's yeah, amazing. Me. And so, yeah. sorry, um, this is not, this is old, but so she's you're, you're found some great great. items. So if anyone needs help, doesn't have time, mm -hmm. that's the way to go. Not a bougie. I don't know how people have budgets for that. So it sounds mm -hmm. kind of like, I have a personal shopper. But it's not like <laughs> no, that. No, no, right, right. <laughs> well, I mean, the fact of it is, is like, 
stylists. When yeah. you see those celebrities on TV or, or Oprah Winfrey, they have a stylist. They do not go shopping. Yeah. I, and so we yeah. have to really do the same thing. Even yeah. We're not Oprah Winfrey and we don't have that totally. budget. Totally. Yeah. Yes. We have to do the same thing. So. Yeah. Side note, I just want to warn against pleather. Um, sometimes <laughs> if you that? hang on to it for too long, it starts to fall apart. Yes. Well, how do you know this? How do you know this, Wendy? I just there's have, a shelf life. I have, there's a shelf life. I've, I've lost a few items. So make sure if you get something that's got pleather, okay, wear it as much as you can when you first get it because if you hang on to it for a few years, it, it, it is going to start to yeah. fall apart. Yep. Yeah. FYI. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. Wendy, why don't you hit the next one? Oh, gosh, you guys. Will you do an arm wrestling video from Fra 35699? <laughs> <laughs> That's oh cute. my god, uh, a sh an arm wrestling video. Um, well, we should get Tarek and Chris back and yeah. have them arm wrestle. Ooh. <laughs> what do you They'll think? battle you. Yeah, what do you think? Battle yeah, me? yeah, why I not? Mean, I don't want to embarrass them on, on, on camera. That's true. <laughs> you guys heard it here. Want, I don't want Chris Cormier to like have to lose to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so maybe a prime, maybe a future prime time. prime time muscle. Maybe just not with us because yeah. we like each other too much. We're, we yes. have to be the judges. We're the judges. Mm -hmm. we, there, there we, was, yeah, sorry. there's one question. No, go ahead. Oh, mm -hmm. I was saying there was one question yes. that we kind of just missed yeah. uh, up above, and it yeah. was, um, oh, where oh, yes. where do we film FemFlex Friday from? Mm -hmm. From Handshake City Fitness. Yes. <laughs> yes. Handshake City Fitness. I like that. Thank you for always commenting on everything that we do. Yeah. I see you pop up a lot. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we film here in Chandler, mm -hmm. Arizona. Chandler, Arizona. Wings yes. of Strength, yes. Olympia headquarters. headquarters. This is where we do it. And we've been showing, Linda and myself both did a live to show behind the scenes. The production studio yeah. here is legit. It's incredible. Amazing. Yes. So, yeah, we need to do a full tour. We have our, yes. our crew Nico and Ma Fernanda who are amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why, oh why yeah. Really quick. Come, come on. Come on. Come, come on. on. Come on. on the spot. Come Let's on. go. Come on. This Moffer. is the reason as to Moffer. why. Moffer. This is the mm -hmm. magic behind the camera. Yeah. They're shy, and they deserve all the praise. Yes. All these amazing sets. <laughs> wrist, wrist, Here elbow, we have. elbow. <laughs> and on that note, we're going to a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with your questions. People always ask how I got here. I was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else. Every damn day. If I can have hundreds of hours back, you know I'm going to grab them. Spending hours prepping chicken, rice, and vegetables, F that. I rely on perfect nutrition. I rely on trifecta. And we are back. But before we go on to the next questions, please be sure to like, subscribe, and follow Olympia TV for all of our episodes, primetime muscle episodes, yeah. all of our videos that we create for you. So. Mm -hmm. Linda, take this next question. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, can you ladies share some information on the Sorry. Masters oh, Olympia? Good. The hype the is hype. building. Woo -woo. Curious about the qualification process, and that comes from Damien. All right. Yeah, we're really excited about the Masters Olympia. Yeah. As well. We will have all divisions, I believe, mm -hmm. except for... Um, I don't believe we have wheelchairs. Prize money. Prize okay. money's big for so all the different divisions. there is prize money for reimbursements. Yes. And this is the biggest, I think, highlight, is that the winner of each division gets to go to the, I mean, yeah. the, the, the Mr. Olympia. The Open. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 And guys, it, like, first of all, like, to me, the big thing is, is that this will be the first time that women are yeah. included Oh, in yeah. Masters, yes. right? Yep. There's always been a Masters Olympia for the men. Yeah. So, and, and here's the bottom line, guys, as far as like money. Like when we start, when we do this, I know money's important, but um, at the end of the day, and, and as far as somebody's going to pay, will they pay right. your way there? You got a place to compete. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You're on a big stage. Yeah. Somebody gets to walk home and say <clears throat> that they are the Olympia Masters champion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, we yeah. as promoters, we include the Masters of Divisions yeah. in our yeah. shows yep. because we knew that 
this day was coming. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. of course, it's going to get better and better. And we're 66% FemFlex Friday. So that means 60, 66% is women in our sport. Yeah. We deserve the opportunity. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 Okay, next Hope question. See Let's see. <laughs> Perfect oh. for you. Oh. Ooh. And I think Tarek El Gundy might have uh, posed this question. We'll see. But who, <laughs> oh do, you, who do you like better? On primetime muscle, Chris or Tarek? Huh. <laughs> oh, so let me think muscle. for a second oh, here. Is, there is why another why person. We all say Tim? I was about to say, <laughs> what about Tim? That's a good one. What good about answer. Tim? You just <laughs> left him out? I know you left Tim yeah. out. Yeah. Hmm. Who is gonna who's gonna make the biggest biggest production out of like me not choosing them? <laughs> uh, Tarek. Who's gonna cause the biggest commotion? I, I um, think we know the answer oh, to that. Come on, ladies, Tarek. lose follow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe we move straight on to the next question. Yeah, yeah we better move on. Yes. We better move on. We, we love you, yes. Tarek. Yes. We love you both. The same. It's a tie. <laughs> Ooh, we got some specific questions. Ooh. Who wants to take this one? Ooh, Camille. Ooh. When are you going to compete next? Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so Scott. <laughs> <laughs> no, Scott. Ew, Scott, that's a I'm, question. I'm, I'm not planning on competing <laughs> again. However, however, however mm -hmm. the Masters Olympia really had me uh -huh. double guessing. Oh! Getting those heels dusted I off. Thought really? I thought about you this really? morning. And I you know what? about it. So maybe we need to work on that and just kind of push, push, it's push. It's not out of question, it sounds like. No, well, no. She's I mean, a judge, so I know you I, have I, a lot of other yeah. things involved. If I, if I decided to do that, I yeah, would not. Step step the the rules are you cannot judge for the year. And I haven't judged yet this year. I will be starting in two weeks. But... Um, I'm planning a trip to Europe with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's and I, right. And I don't want to be on a date. Uh -huh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. But great. honestly, the thought of like going there for the first time mm -hmm. for the Masters Olympia mm -hmm. for women, like mm -hmm. that'd be so cool. So mm -hmm. there's always next year then. Yeah, so that, yeah. that, that has had me I thinking. watched what you okay. ate yesterday. You had uh, yeah, chicken you're in prep. and zucchini. I was like, oh, maybe Camille's ah. scary. <laughs> <laughs> I know she is eating like she's she's the only one in this whole group. No, it's because I've been so that. busy. I haven't no. worked out for two. Yeah. Weeks. Well, last You're time you, she ate, but she eats our stuff. I think this was the first time yeah. I saw you. Yeah. Like you bring your own meal. container. I was like, so we were like, is she going to romance? Hey. <laughs> Linda might be seeing my pictures to see if I'm yeah. super or not. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh God! <laughs> I have to remind myself that you don't compete because you look so. Cool. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You no, know, you really do. You're fabulous. Thank you. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, you are. Thank you. So are you, ladies? <laughs> Thank you. We receive it. <laughs> We're working on that over here. Receive it. No. <laughs> All right. I will. Uh, I will ask this next one and for Whitney Jones. Yes. Will you be? Will you be competing at the 2023 mm -hmm. Mr. Olympia? Mm -hmm. Carl yes. wants to know. Yes. That was so, fast. Yeah. That is a definite That is yes. absolutely the plan. Um, I unfortunately obviously had to pull out last year due to some health stuff that came up, and I'm almost in the clear. So, awesome. yeah. Yay. So the plan oh. is I already have my ideas, because obviously uh -oh. I had my routine, but... Ever since then, I've got some more ideas, and I'm super yeah. excited. Yeah, so you're gonna do, you're gonna do yeah. the Macarena now. Oh yes, <laughs> definitely the Macarena <laughs> so evolution cool. of dance. Okay. Yeah, okay. but I awesome. thing I was I'm not to done it. yet. I wasn't going Good out deal. like that. Um, I'm planning on competing, and I have some fun ideas. Oh, I'm so, wow. oh my gosh, I'm so, so awesome! Excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So God willing, everything works out. Mm, but right yeah. now, my doctors are thinking everything's gonna be okay. So yay! Yeah, Good. I saw a video Good. that you. You posted where you were you you do a lot of choreography for yeah. of different competitors, but there was a video that you posted and you're doing the choreography with your client. Yeah, and you looked so powerful, so energetic. Oh, your moves were so clean and so crisp, and I was like, she is coming back. Like, she <laughs> oh yeah, she yeah, is so coming back. I've done 17 routines you look so far this year already. I've That's choreographed crazy. for the for, really? for clients, not for me. Yes, but yeah, and I feel good. Yeah. so I yeah. love it, and yeah. Mm. It's my the best my older sister, she was a college gymnast, and she used to choreograph a lot of um, gymnastics routines. Oh yeah! And it brought back memories. I remember when she used to choreograph for all the you know gymnasts who just went into like you know so, um, 
not not a compulsory anymore. Yeah. And um, it brought back memories because you look a little bit like my older sister. Oh yeah. Aww. And I just I don't know watching you choreograph it just made, brought. I love back. it. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. I'll probably still be doing this when I'm eighty. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> Passion is. They'll have a they'll have a wheelchair yes, version for fitness. Whitney. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we totally. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, Linda. Was it difficult decision to retire from bodybuilding mm. from Ann F? Yeah, you know what, um, no. In my case, it was easy. First of all, I placed second. Uh, so I did, I retired twice. That's right, so, yes. So uh -huh. when I retired in the in early 2000s, it was like no question. I was so at peace and yeah. it was, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, and even the first journey. Yeah, so it was really, how could I complain or, yeah. or not, um, like know the journey right yeah. i've been there done that so it was definitely easy for me I and you're still so Olympia. involved with everything yeah. so it's not like you're retired and you're leaving this right. entire chapter right you're just in all other aspects mm -hmm. yeah. of the sport oh, which yeah. makes it so it makes it yeah easy. Ooh, so yeah sweet. but when you when you know it's time it's Time. You know it, yeah. yeah. And when, yeah. You're, when you're deep into that like mm -hmm. competitive mode and you're in in that prime, mm -hmm. the thought of retiring is yeah. like that scary. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. never gonna happen. But it's yeah. the time, like you know when the time is right and mm -hmm. it feels good and it feels right. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It felt so right. It felt so right. Yay! So thanks for that question. Mm. Heck yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah. And, it, and the way I ended it was like with you, like you have business yeah like you're yeah. fresh you know your situation I didn't have that type of situation I got yeah. you know I lost the Olympia I the first time around yeah um, on my attempt to win the seventh and the eighth and come on like when you're talking numbers like five and six yeah even when you get to like number four right yeah you like, understand yeah. Oh, like yeah. just kind of you're really at peace with yeah. the whole process and yeah so, you have nothing left yeah. to prove it's yeah, gotta be for yourself to prove. yeah yeah it's just it's it's, it's so insane to think that you won eight Olympias. I know. I mean, I can't mm. imagine ever oh, uh, getting used to hearing uh, that. No. If it, even as, even as, mm -hmm. if though it was you that did that, like just hearing people re remind you, I bet it's just, mm -hmm. it must be crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's definitely, I think the part that's really fun is the fact that, um, like, I was there in the 90s. Yeah. We have this big, uh, poster that they put up at the Olympia and on that poster they had every single Mr. Olympia yeah and when I looked at every guy I was like oh my god like I know each one oh yeah. that's pretty yeah. cool yeah even the first there were, we have a couple that have passed away <clears throat> Sir mm -hmm. Deliva and I'm trying to You're think of the very first Mr. Olympia Frank Zane and I, not Frank Zane um, oh it's, it's escaping me I can't even believe it he passed away oh um, he was the first <sighs> Gosh. Um, um, shame on me. Yeah, my uh, brain's blank. Yes, but it for me. That's when I said, "Dang, I've been here a long time." <laughs> it's amazing. You've accomplished a lot. Yeah. Incredible. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So blessed. You're like a walking legend of history. Yeah. Oh, uh, Larry Scott. Larry Scott. Yeah. There we go. Larry, Larry, yes, Larry. we had to give him Larry. props. So there we go. Sweet. Yes. Thank you so much. We just yes. needed our brains to click in. Yeah, the first. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna, we're going to take a quick commercial break, really quickly, and go. We'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. Welcome back, everybody. We are answering your questions, and we are going to just roll right back into it. All right. So, Wendy, this question's for you. Yes. When would you tell your client who is 70 plus when it would be time for her to retire? Ooh. Okay. So, <clears throat> I know that this is Missy. This is Missy. Nice. Sandman mm. does not look seven, She's even 70? close to oh, seventy. One years. Are wow. You kidding and me? She is amazing. She inspires so many wow. people. The is thing she is, really? she she That's always insane. she keeps asking this question. But here's the thing: 
She's been with us since she was, I think she was 66 when she started working with us. Aww. And every year she thinks it's time for her to retire. And But she keeps getting better. Yeah, so I clearly. Think incredible. My answer is if you continue to improve, like Glenda was just mm -hmm. talking about how she mm -hmm. felt like basically she You're had reached done. her full potential, mm -hmm. the full accomplishment. Oh, yeah. If you're still improving, um, and you don't feel like that's that's done yet, then d d finish when you feel like mm -hmm. it's either one, you stop improvement, or you just have lost your passion for what you're doing, you know? Mm -hmm. She might be at the Masters Olympia something. Yeah, there you go. I mean, she could, honestly. Mm -hmm. I mean, the thing is, is, is she has continued to improve, so I say keep it going until you feel like your body's just not mm -hmm. doing anything. Yeah. For that's anything, awesome. You know? Good and for man, her. she inspires so many women. She, like she doesn't realize, like when she's on stage, a lot of the audience and the people going to a competition for the first time, they're mostly impressed with the masters. Yeah. Because then they have to look at themselves and go, what the heck? How old yeah. is this woman? And she goes mm -hmm. in against, like she'll do like the 50 plus category because they yeah. don't have like 70 plus category in um, pro masters because she's uh -huh. a pro too. Oh and my. So when she goes up, she's in like the masters pro division, like 50 plus. So she's a she's like, and she's in there. She's That's like awesome. towards the middle oh, yeah. of the first call out and she's against women. Yeah, she has like full muscle belly. Yeah. Which you don't usually she looks see. great. You know what I mean, it's, it's a small ways. I'm yeah. looking at her quads. Well, her face, she has her, flair. And her face yeah, she does not look Young, or does not look young. like she's yeah. she's way too young for she's mm -hmm. that age to yeah. mm -hmm. um, well, Here's one for Whitney. Yeah. <laughs> What's the one thing you absolutely absolutely won't share? Wow. Man, Man of mystery. mystery. <laughs> ah. Well, because I'm pretty open book. Like I don't get embarrassed. I probably need to about some things. I share a lot. I'll say I do like to keep private. My personal life, like, obviously I'm not married, but um, probably that yeah. I like to keep just to me. And then the one thing I, I'll never share in the moment, if I'm injured, no one will ever know. Yeah, you we'll know, it's we'll like, on, we'll see it on Netflix. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> totally. It's always, it's something in my head. Like if I'm in a, if I'm in competition yeah. mode, yeah. yeah. if there's an injury, I don't want to acknowledge it. I won't let people acknowledge it. So you won't know until after the fact. But those are probably the only two things. Mm -hmm. Injuries yeah. sometimes, and then um, my personal life. Book. I am. I mean, I. you ask me, I'll share. Sadly, it's probably a lot yeah. that I'm putting out yeah. there, but, no, but why right. not? Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is that it's, it's actually a gift because you add so much joy, and you have so much to, to give, and I think that your vibe just... It makes the world better. Oh gosh, we well, thank you. We could just have more people that make the world better mm -hmm. the way that you do. It'd be a beautiful place. It's what she's Absolutely. saying is debauchery and shenanigans are the way to go. <laughs> yep. And I'm good Whitney at hates compliments. I do. I, know, that's why I tried so know. hard it's not to cringe. So I was like, oh. okay, I'm just gonna disappear and sink into my chair. But I handled it well. You did. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, she received. You thank you, Wendy. You Always take compliments. If somebody gives you a compliment, it's you say so thank hard. You. Yeah, that's not the easiest thing. Do, oh, guys. <laughs> All right, Linda. Let's see. And we talked about your style. Any other yeah. quick tips? This was from Annabelle F. Mm -hmm. Acknowledging you have such great style. Oh, Where wow. do you shop from? A any other? Of, you said uh -huh. Nordstrom any Rack. Tips? Any mm -hmm. others? Yeah, you know, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> but you know what I've been doing again is I like binge watch uh YouTubers. So which on one? Is there any YouTube. that you want to shout out? Give an account. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, oh, I love uh, Monroe Steele. Oh, okay. I've seen Monroe her. Steele. Yes. And they do the Paris. Okay. They go uh, to Paris Fashion Week. Nice. And okay. I, I binge watch um, uh, the uh, fashion shows. Okay. And I watch the ladies the way they walk and pose and all of that. So. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'm getting a lot of like great tips and helping with with shopping. Oh, okay. I like I'm it. Gonna yeah. check those out. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. You do have an amazing style. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, I grew you you haven't seen nothing yet. <coughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's Ooh, coming. something to look forward to. Yeah, season, yeah. season three. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Whitney. I love following your journey. You you're inspirational. What is your favorite family thing to do? Oh, Hobby. gosh. 
I love family time. It's truly my favorite. Um, we love anything active, love games, uh, very competitive family, which I think is fun. It's a competitive rivalry, but I'd say snowboarding. Um, I've taught both of my boys how to snowboard, mm, and I that's been fun. Wow. And then game night. We do game night game at night. least two to three times a week, literally, and it's what so games? much fun. Games. So right now we're on this huge NERTS, N-E-R-T-Z. It's a card game, fast-paced. That's been our, our go-to. Huh. And then just recently we started playing pickleball. The weather's great. Pickle? So I we're outdoors pickleball. for pickleball oh, yeah. and then indoors for, for game night with board game. It's mm -hmm. nerds. Yeah. Aww, so you have to those are mine. Be the most fun mom. Like you yes. can flip and do all these things. Uh, can I know. guys do that? <laughs> they can't, but you know, they're um <laughs> do what like, do they think? My mom can do but they like, can Well, that's more. what they used to tell when I was little. They they'd say, So what does your mom do? Like in school, she does flips for a living. Oh, <laughs> They're probably like, well, she she's does. in the circus? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> she's pretty yeah. much in the circus. <laughs> <laughs> totally. So, yeah. 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 But that's fun. Okay. Aww. That's cute. All well, right, Camille. We, yep. It's, it's Camille, hard to judge turn. bikini, so does it make you ever miss it? You know, uh, it does sometimes, especially when I judge, like, pro bikini, I yeah, do miss yeah. it. But I will have to say... Um, Oddly enough, bikini is like one of the hardest divisions for me to judge. Too. Oh, I bet. Really? Yeah. Isn't it for everyone though? That I was... think so. I think oh, it, it so is like hard. one of the harder divisions to judge. But there's a lot of like I have a certain physique style that I that I like. Yeah. And from a yeah. from an athlete yeah. too. So yeah. sometimes yeah. I find myself like. Not mm. arguing, but trying to, mm -hmm. you know, prove maybe, mm -hmm. you know, you have to kind of prove your point and have sure. like reasoning behind yeah. your, your actions. So, mm. um, so do you ever I, think, gosh, I could be up there and I could win this show? Because uh, <laughs> I know you can. Yeah. Uh, it's crossed my mind. You yeah. see? Yeah, yeah, Good. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Because yeah. this girl was whipping the booties of 20-year-olds. Oh, yeah. Well, and I wouldn't say, like, like, I would say, like, like oh, I could beat all these girls. But yeah. I, I would tell myself, like, Okay, I'm not too far off. Yeah, I still got yeah, it. Yeah, I and got you it. still got it. Yeah. So good. I still got I'm it. glad that you said that. Yeah. <laughs> You've preserved well, man. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank there you. Go. Um, okay, Wendy. Yes. I loved watching your episode on skincare gadgets. Ooh. What would you recommend for someone who goes in and out of prep and losing volume in the face? Mm. This is something I struggle with. At girl. And fit, a tattoo. Fit girl, fit girl. and a tattoo. tattoo. That is a great question, fit girl yes. and a tattoo. Yes, so you need to you need to help build your elastin and collagen, which is in your dermis layer. And the two favorite things that I have for that are microcurrent, so it's like involuntary contractions. There's all kinds of little devices that you can get. Um, New Face makes one. And basically, that <coughs> current goes in and it helps to... Um, uh, create mm -hmm. ATP, so energy in your face, mm -hmm. and that will help to, you know, turn over your elastin, your collagen. And the other one is red light LED therapy. It basically goes in like 600 something nanometers deep into your skin, so it hits the dermis layer to help also reinvigorate those elastin and collagen um, proteins mm. in your skin. Mm. The elastin and collagen, by the way, it's like the glue that holds your cells together. And I would highly recommend staying away from you know sun damage. Like make sure you put sunscreen mm -hmm. on because the sun, the UVA and UVB rays can break down the elastin and collagen, which is basically what's keeping your skin plump. Yeah. So make sure you protect your skin even more so when you lose the fat pads in your face. You wanna do everything you possibly can to keep that skin plump. So mm. does that answer yeah. pretty good? Yeah, that's great. That great. Whoa, I love it. All right, that's why you're that. the guru. <laughs> Gadgets are my favorite. I have been watching Fenflex Friday for years. Thank you for all your content. You yes. have evolved through many stages in the fitness industry from competing to promoter and more. What is your favorite stage? What I think they my, mean like what is your favorite like phase, phase in, your in career? yeah oh yes. David Phillips nine six seven mm, inquiring minds great. want to know <laughs> my my favorite phase actually is right now oh I love it good I'm it so really mean, yeah. truly is like just the fact that like I'm sitting here with three different divisions mm -hmm. yeah. and when I started it was just bodybuilding and now yeah yeah figure yeah fitness and bikini mm -hmm. and to be relevant enough to to have a voice uh, to understand like what 
what was going on in the past and did yeah. like oh, still awesome. be able to like yes. do the social media and and understand the phenomena of, yeah. mm -hmm. of social media and the fact that you guys have control over your promotion and yeah. marketing yourself mm -hmm. and, and all of the um, what's available to you yeah. mm -hmm. as far as like a business and you being in control versus back in the day it was yeah. a, us yeah. in the magazine and there were only a few but now it's just really opened up so yeah. for me truly yeah. it's about being in the present and being a part of this. I wouldn't trade this for anything. And it's great because you are still so relevant. Like oh. in our industry, uh -huh. you could win a title and a year later, no one knows who you are. Yeah. People yeah. see you out and about and they line up that to get photos amazing. with you mm -hmm. and to chat with you and you're still so relevant. Mm -hmm. Years after you stopped off yeah. the stage, yeah. that's not easy. But yeah. you know what guys, what I think is really important about that and the reason for that, and, and I'll, I'll hear athletes talk about money yeah. and all the wrong reasons yeah. to, to be a part of yeah. this. Mm -hmm. But for me, um, because that was not my focus, yeah. um, and I just like found a way to get through the different challenges mm -hmm. that we yeah. go through. Of course, when you when you first stop competing, you get a little depressed and you and you get through that. Yeah. And I think the ones that come in and they make a lot of money, like some of the guys that yeah. make, you know, walk away with 250,000 first place and yeah. women mm -hmm. might be 20 or 50. Like I always told myself back then that, you know, it's not about the money and I promise you that I'll be here 30 years later and my 20 yeah. grand will be well, yeah. <laughs> five times sure. what you yeah. got, baby. For sure. Because it made me work. Yeah. You know, I had to work. I had to be patient. I, I had to, to be focused. I, I had know. to stay. I have to add that on the outside looking in with you, mm -hmm. I think one of the huge things, you would probably wouldn't say this yourself, but you encourage other people around you to be successful. Yeah. You pass Always. on your knowledge and what you've learned and acquired. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people I feel like get greedy. Like they get successful and then they don't wanna they they feel like, you know, I'm the I'm the goat. Like I don't want anyone to come after mm -hmm. me and and match what I've done. Mm -hmm. But you're so different in that way. Like mm -hmm. you encourage and you celebrate everyone mm -hmm. who come has come after you yes, yeah. and it is i think that's one of the hugest yeah. things is that has made you stay so relevant yeah. you know wow, that's sweet. you thank celebrate you. it and i love that yeah, thank you mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> what's mine is mine what's yours is yours i, can't, <laughs> I know that <laughs> totally all right mm -hmm. so let's see next question Ah, Camille. this is for Camille. Yeah. Camille, I enjoyed watching your competing journey and have had the pleasure of being judged by you. What is your favorite division to judge? And this comes from Kimmy S. We already know it's the hardest. So that's also my favorite. <laughs> is it? It's the oh, hardest. Oh, that's good. It's bikini. I mean, I, I look forward to bikini. Yeah. But I, I honestly, I love judging all the divisions. I would mm -hmm. have to say like classic physique is probably my second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. um, I, I like oh, yeah. watch. I like judging. I like small mm -hmm. figure. Um, mm -hmm. But bikini is the one I'm like, like, yay, uh -huh. bikini's on. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Um, but unfortunately, guys, I, there was a few more questions. We're going to save these for our next time. We're going to be doing this regularly. Yeah. Yes. But we really appreciate you guys tuning in to FemFlex Friday. We really do read all your comments and take them to heart. This is all for you. So this is our platform form that we want to offer to you guys. So, so you can leave more questions yes. for our next Q&A. Yep. <laughs> yes. But uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, follow Olympia TV for everything that we talk about. Yep. We have some fun stuff coming on the pipeline. Yeah. Bye. Bye.